Hello and welcome. We already learned in a previous video how to upload a file to our web API, okay? And also we learned how to save the file in the database. Now we will learn how to download the file, okay? And because learning is a step-by-step -step process, we will learn in the next video how to get the file from the database. This video is just for download the file from our web API. First, we need to create an endpoint so our client can get access to this, to download the file. Then, we need to get the file raw information, the bytes. We need to create a representation for that information and add it to the response. And finally, we need to add some metadata like the name of the file and the size of the file so we can add it to the response, okay? In other words, we need to create an action method that returns a HTTP response message or, if you want a custom response, a I HTTP action result. Then we need to get the file bytes and create a memory stream. That memory stream goes to the response and finally we need to build the response headers. Here in Hello World project I already created the file downloading controller. We can hide these and we go to the first step creating a action method. So public HTTP response message get docpic var result equals new HTTP response message. We pass HTTP status code OK, return the result. Now let's say that this is a HTTP get and let's give it a route API slash file downloading slash download. First step is done, creating the action method. Now let's get the file bytes. First, let's see the file that we will download. I have here in app data, right click, open folder in file explorer. I have this file, this doc pick. I copy the name and go to the code and say var file name is equals to the name of the file. Also, we say that we have a file path equals to HTTP context dot current dot server dot map path we say dollar snake slash ape data slash file name next we want to have a var file bytes equals to file dot read all bytes of file path is just this we just got the file bytes now let's add this to a memory stream. So we say that we have a var file mem stream is equals to new memory stream and we pass the file bytes, just that. And we got here another smile. Let's add a memory stream to the response. The step number three, result.content is equals to new stream content and we pass the file mem stream. And the last part is build the response headers. For headers is equals to result.content.headers. So we don't have to do these over and over again, okay? And next we say that the headers.content disposition is equals to new content disposition. Let's just import these. We don't want ugly code here, so import using system.net.http.headers. We say this is an attachment. Next, we say headers dot content disposition dot file name is equals to the file name. The next part, we will say the type of this, in this case, is a JPG. So we say headers dot content type is equals to new media type header value is equals to application slash JPG. And finally, we say the size headers dot content length is equals to file mem stream dot length is just this. And the last part is done. Let's test this and see what happens. Let's run the application. Let's go here to the folder downloads. We don't have anything here. 
OK, let's go to Postman and we have here the address is a get. The address will be API slash file downloading slash download justice. And we send the request and we got the response here. OK, this pretty thing. We can go here to this button download and say download where we want to save the file. It can be in the download save. And we have here the dog pic. If we open, the file is OK. This is a picture that I, I'm learning how to draw. So I draw this with pencil and then I pass to the computer. And I'm still deciding which colors I will use. Well, but let's go to the main subject of this video. We learned how to download from Postman. Now let's do this with a web page. And it is very easy. I have already here this file download demo. We just need a anchor where the href is the address to our web API action method. And we say that this is a download. OK, it's just this. We open this in a browser like Chrome and we click on the download. The file is downloaded. We go to the folder downloads and we have here a second version of this. I just want to talk about one last tip. We say here in the headers dot content type that we have a application slash JPG because we are downloading a JPG. But imagine that you don't know what type of file is. So for that case, instead of application slash JPG will be application slash octet stream. OK, so these can go to any file. OK. This is the end. And as always, thank you for watching.